Hello again, it's your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley, back for another episode of the History of Comics podcast. This time with another edition of the Classics, with sadly the final edition in the Richard Stark's uh, Parker series, that by Darwin Cook, was Slayground. In this edition, uh, the erstwhile uh, criminal Parker, after a bus gone bad, is forced to hide out in an abandoned amusement park during the winter against both crooked cops and the gangsters who are trying to double-cross him. And sure enough, as usual, when Parker in a cat and mouse game, Parker being the mouse always find the way, finds an advantage. This is just another great uh, series and a nice uh, twist in the, the typical Parker crime stories. It's more like uh, with the setting and how he's able to use his wiles and ruthlessness to uh, take down both the, cops, the cops and the criminals going after him. And once again, uh, Parker, as usual, he's not a good guy. But he's better than the other, but the other guys are worse, so that's why you kind of like him, and plus he's really good at what he does, and yeah. And this is matched with Darling Quick's gorgeous art, which has a nice crime noir feel, perfect for the uh, adapting this classic novel by uh, the great Donald Westlake slash Richard Stark. And uh, yeah, you have just another brilliant example of how to do a proper adaptation of a crime novel. So yes, as I said, uh, this was published in 2013, and sadly, just a short while later, the great Darwin Cook would pass away due to ca- complications from cancer. He was truly missed, truly one of the great talents, and uh, his work on the Richard Stark adaptations was no was no exception. He was yeah he was tr- he showed even to his last days he was uh, delivering the, some classic work. So once again, rest in peace, Darren Quick. Thanks for all the brilliant uh, works, it's particularly Slayground, his adaptation of Richard Stark novel, because that is a true classic. My name is Mark McCray, and I'm the author of The Best Saturdays of Our Lives. I'm Dan Klink, co-host of The Best Saturdays of Our Lives podcast. The Best Saturdays of Our Lives features programming trends from the 1966 television season all the way through the last hurrah of the early digital age of the 1990s. On the show, if it's animated, we talk about it. Order your signed copy today at tbsool.com. And listen to the podcast at esonetwork.com and all podcast platforms. Now it is August 18th, 2022, time for the favorite comic book of the week. Shirtless Bear Fighter, Volume 2, Number 1, by uh, Jody Leop and uh, Neil Vindrel, which uh, sees a new story arc in the uh, Shirtless Bear Fighter series. It finds the title character now working with the Fuzz, a law enforcement unit designed to go after evil bears, only for things not to go as planned. Yes, if that setup sounds crazy, it only gets weirder from there, especially when you see the title character taking on evil gummy bear edibles. Yes, I said that, and that is exactly what happens in the comic book. But uh, Lee Hope not only draws in some great crazy storylines and uh, fun action, but there's also a nice little bit of art as uh, the shirtless bear fighter has uh, some uh, abandonment issues and so forth to deal with, which is why he goes around punching bears a lot. It's also matched by Vendril's uh, nicely cartoony action-packed art, which is a lot of fun, especially depicting all the crazy nonsense going on. And all in all, this is just a fun, crazy series, a little, a little bit weirder and different, but if you want to get a chance, a whole lot of fun. So I highly recommend that, Shirtless Bear Fighter, uh, Volume 2, Number 1. And also, the, the day I'm recording this, I had just recently watched the uh, She-Hulk Attorney at Law, first episode for Disney Plus, and absolutely loved it. I enjoyed the episode from beginning to end. Tony Mazzani is perfect as uh, Jennifer Walters, uh, She Hulk. But the click, uh, the clincher was the after credit scene, which was brilliant and hilarious. I think one of my favorite after credit scenes in all the MCU, because it pays off a great joke that was played out throughout the entire episode. And this is what we're going to get with this show. It's basically, it looks like it's going to be an MCU sitcom. It's going to be perfect and fantastic, and I can't wait for the rest of the series. And yeah, still, granted, I am a bit biased, but I've loved, well, I've at least liked most of what MCU has put out. I did like Lo- Thor, Love, and Thunder, though. I did, they went too far overboard, trying to imitate Ragnarok a bit too much. But I especially love the Miss Marvel series. Fantastic show, great lead uh, character, and of course, uh, the, the Pakistani Indian uh, history was really interesting and uh, enlightening. Yeah, but all in all, a lot of good uh, comic book stuff out there to enjoy, at least on the Marvel side. Uh, yeah, poor DC. Well, hopefully they're out together. But uh, that being said, uh, enjoy me again next week with probably get another edition to Classics. But until then, go ahead and enjoy yourself a good comic book. And if you can, find uh, Slayground by uh, Darwin Cook, because that is a true classic. <laughs>